Tigers. Next week, we will have our Start With Hello Week, just as we've had the past few years. But we'll do it a little differently this year. So I'm going to share with you some things we would have shared in the gymnasium together as our morning announcement if we were here. I want everyone to think about a time that you felt lonely, passed over, excluded from a group. Maybe you felt invisible, isolated, shut off, or even maybe you just felt ignored. I think most of us have probably felt that way before. Let's watch this short clip together about why should we start with Hello Week and how it can help us. Why should I start with Hello? To create a more connected and inclusive school and community. You will inspire others. You will create lifelong friendships. To make a difference in someone's life and help them feel accepted, included, and valued. So it sounds like this is a great way for us to help ourselves build our friendships. So we need you for that. Only you can help create a feeling of connectedness between other people. It takes all of us. It takes the power of one. One person has a lot of power. And you can start with three very easy, simple steps. You see someone alone? Reach out and help them. Start with hello. Maybe sometimes you feel nervous about reaching out to others. So let's talk about some ways that we can do that and get ourselves comfortable enough and brave enough to do that. So what can you do? Sit with someone who may feel alone. Maybe it's six feet away from them, but sit with them. Reach out to them on your social media. Get your parents to help you reach out on their Facebook or reach out with an email. Invite someone to join you. Maybe there's someone in your family, a cousin, or someone that you're close to anyway that you can schedule a play date with. Or maybe you can schedule a time to have a special Zoom meeting just with your friend, not for a class assignment, just to sit and talk or play a game together or watch a video together. Give a simple gesture to someone, a wave, a phone call, a card, either mailed or emailed, or there are all kinds of virtual ways to send cards now, but reach out to someone in any way you can think of. Leaving a handwritten note for someone, writing a letter, stamping and mailing it. All of these are great ways and easy ways to reach out to other people. If you're nervous about talking to someone new, here's some ideas for conversation starters. Start with hello. Always start by introducing yourself with that hello. Ask questions and use some icebreakers. Ask them why questions and repeat things and validate that you understand them or that you heard what they said or maybe you enjoy something that they talked about or maybe you can share some experiences with them that they would understand too. Eight out of ten people are hesitant to start a new conversation, but eight out of ten people are happy that they did. So here are some icebreaker ideas to help you start those conversations. The five W's. Who, what, when, where, why. Who are you? Do you have a nickname? What are your favorite things to do? When did you move to town? Where is your favorite place to visit? Why is that your favorite? That who, what, when, where, why doesn't just help you in writing, it helps you in conversations too. Icebreaker idea number two. If you, if you were a fish, bird, or animal, what would you be and why? If you could do anything, what would you do? Why? If you were a superhero, who would you be and why? If you created your own nickname, what would it be? 
Why? Another idea is if you had a superpower, what would it be and why? Icebreaker idea number three. What are your favorite things? Your colors, animals, holidays, foods, musicians, music, books, video games, artists, TV shows, favorite class, favorite sport, favorite movie. All kinds of favorite ideas you can come up with for a conversation starter or to find out your shared interests. Icebreaker idea number four. This or that, would you rather? Would you rather be a fish or a cow? Would you rather live in the city or the country? Would you rather be a musician or a sports star? Would you rather drive an electric or a gas car? And why? Those are great conversations. That's even a game now. Icebreaker idea number five, my shoes. Share some stories of where your shoes have gone. Vacations, parts of the city or the country, different cities, states, or countries, the beaches, the mountains, the desert. Share places you've been and things you've done. You never know what you might find out you share in common. Or you might hear about some really exciting things that you might want to try next. Icebreaker idea number six, handwritten notes. Just write a note. Use the other icebreakers to help you write your notes. Pay someone a compliment. Telling them something you like about who they are and how they give back to your school community. Let them know how valued they are to you. Tell them thank you. Let them know how much they're appreciated. It really only takes one word. Oh. Hi. 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 What's up, Good one. Good one. Where are you going? Hi, Luca. How's it going? Hi. What's up, dude? How's it going? Hey. Hey, mind if I play? What's up? One word. Hello. Hi. One word can have more of an impact than you can ever imagine. One word can help bring people together. Can brighten someone's day can start a friendship, can save someone's life. That's the power of hello. And that's the power of one. One word, one person can start a friendship or make someone feel valued, brighten someone's day, show a kindness. And you can start with three simple steps. See someone alone, reach out and help, start with hello. Next week is Hello Week, and we will have some activities through the week that I will share with your teachers, some dress-up days, some challenges for the week. I hope you have a fabulous week. I hope you make fabulous friends, especially now that we're all virtual. We need those connections more than ever. Have a great start with Hello Week.